Here we've got uh, Paw Patrol the movie, Adventure City Calls, we play on Xbox Series X. Curse of Our Games, so I want to thank them for the opportunity. Uh, this is a pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting little uh, 3D platforming game where you play as one of, th one of two pups simultaneously. You either play by yourself or you can play with a uh, second player. So you can take control of a pup. Um, I do like the attention to detail how each of the uh, how the uh, dog treats change color based on whomever your active character is. I think it's kind of cool, at least for at least from playing a, a one player. I would presume it would take the color of the primary player if you did two players. Um, the levels are pretty long, but they're extremely linear. Um, there's not much exploring you can do, but that's, that's to be expected. I mean, it's a kid's game, right? Uh, what I do appreciate is that if you do need to do a second run to get all the dog treats, um, for the dog treats that you've already gotten, they're actually a, uh, solid color, and they don't count towards you, towards your, uh, total count. In fact, if I got all these before, my count would be zero. Instead of uh, 101 out of 500, and then once I got the remaining dog treats I was missing, which are outlined, which are, which is seeing now the regular color, the regular way they look, um, then it would say 500 out of 500. So I do, I do appreciate that. Um, I initially thought when I was like, oh, this is, this is broken, but no, I realized, no, it's designated those the only, those the ones you've already uh, picked up. Now. One thing I really don't care for about this game is that uh, now the, the the fact that it's linear I can I can forgive that it's a kids game. Um, I can kind of forgive this next section here. Um, so whenever you have to use one of your powers, one of your abilities, like what you're gonna see here, you always have the uh, tutorial. You always have the screen here telling you what to do every single time, no matter how many times you play where you play a level. You always have the same <laughs> the same explanation every single time. Which may I understand that this is geared towards younger a younger audience. But I don't know. I, I, I don't really care for it, but then again, I, I can kind of see why they do it, why they did it. For a kid's game, this game's really fun. Um, definitely very enjoyable. A lot more fun than I initially anticipated it was going to be, <laughs> honestly speaking. Um, although I did think it was going to be a little bit more um, open and a lot less linear, but it does have a little bit, a very tiny bit of uh, uh, exploration to the point where you can't really get stuck, which is nice. Um, though the camera, I wish it was, it was free flowing, like a like a like a free camera and not a fixed camera, because sometimes the camera angles can be a little bit tough to work with. Not game breaking or anything, but just just a tad bit annoying, especially trying to explore and get to. Uh, I'm going to get Terry is to get the uh, dog treats you may have missed. And then each section uh, of the game is going to have this vehicle section here uh, with every level. Or it's going to be one vehicle, some obstacles, some uh, turbo boosts, and you gathering dog treats. It's always going to be three set paths. And at the end of the level, uh, you're going to have something else you have to do. That's going to involve one of the uh, pub's abilities. So, I mean, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty predictable. But then again, for a kid's game, it's to be expected. Um, I don't think that the, uh, this, these sections are very fair, though. 
uh, because the screen goes by pretty quickly and your uh, character can't um, at least I can't get it to uh, react fast enough to gather all the dog treats. So that's that's, that's a I think it's kind of I'm not gonna say broken, but I wish it would respond better, especially given it's a Series X that's being played on. I can only imagine that the response of this <laughs> and or the way that this looks on say a Switch, the uh, Switch, um, but. The Series X, it, it plays well, it responds well, except for those vehicle sections. And it loads relatively quickly. I don't think this is very optimized for the Series X. Um, in fact, I don't think it is optimized at all, which tells them, which explains why you have... Well, no, it doesn't, it doesn't, because it's got the... The load times are, are rather long. Um, and if we're in Series X, I wouldn't expect that. I expect on the, on the Xbox One but not a Series X. Which leads me to believe that the load times are going to be even longer on the original Xbox. So do be aware of that. You're looking at a load time on the Series X of at least... I want to say at least 20 to 30 seconds. Maybe at the longest a minute. Which on the Series X feels way too long. So you're probably looking at a good... You know, 30 seconds to maybe a minute and a half on the Xbox One original. Or the S, rather. And so here you get a little bit of... Really? No. Oh, that's not... Anyway, that's why. Okay. I was like, oh, no, you can't go that way, but it's because you had to do this first. Pair the electrical. Pair the wires. Usually the little mini games we have here, they're pretty easy. Pretty easy to, to, to do. It's either a button press or a rotation of the uh, uh, analog stick, that kind of thing. But again, overall, for a, for a 3D platformer, um, this is pretty fun. Again, I just wish it was a little less linear, but what can you really expect much for it being a kid's game? Geared towards a younger audience. For a kid's game, for a kid's game this is great. Uh, this is a game you could definitely say you know, would be definitely a Good for either a kid that doesn't really play games or you know, likes platformers, likes Paw Patrol. Um, this game's definitely worth worth checking out. Worth playing, worth the money, worth your time. Alright, well that's going to end the review here, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.